How's it going? How's everybody doing on this wonderful Thursday? Yes, it is Thursday, June 15th, 2023. Halfway through June, which technically I guess would mean it were essentially halfway through the year already. Can you believe that crap? Whew. Just flying by. Flying by. There's not enough days in a week. Uh, you know, this, this seven days is... is I don't know who thought of that, or who developed it. I know there's probably some scientific explanation. I'm sure I learned it in school, but that was a long time ago. Okay, I'm getting old. I don't remember all that crap. But yeah, uh, we really need like eight days in a week, don't we? Don't you, I, I, let's start a petition. All right, we're gonna we're just gonna revamp everything, start from scratch. We're gonna set it at eight days a week. You work five days, you have two days off and then you literally have one day of doing absolutely nothing no work around the house no chores no dishes no laundry nothing that's what we need and then to make the years a little bit longer you know because we we still have 52 we will still have two fifty two. you know 52 weeks in a year but just eight days a week. Now, of course, you know, that set off the, the seasons a little bit because, you know, the, the 365 days a year coordinate with, uh, you know, the, the Earth's trip around the sun. So, I obviously, you know, I know science, and yeah, screw with that a little bit, but yeah, we come to terms with it. I would. Because I'd have that eighth day to when I can just sit and do absolutely nothing. I don't have that now. Even on my days off, I'm kind of working. Because during my five days of work, I don't have really time to do anything. Outside of work. But that's the job. I, ex you know, I expect that. I respect that. And I like the paycheck. But then come Saturday and Sunday, then I'm doing all the work around the house. Which I do enjoy, don't get me wrong. But, you know, just once in a while, it's just nice to sit and just do nothing. All right. We're not doing nothing right now. Right now, we're going to dive into this box. I went on and ordered a mystery box from directly from Funko. I saw a video by, I believe it was Franchise Kicks. I think. Yeah. I'm always positive it's Franchise Kicks. And he was unboxing, I think he ordered two of each box, but he ordered, I mean, he was unboxing one of the, I don't remember what the other, other box was that they had, but they had this box and then they had another mystery box, and he had ordered, I think, two of the other mystery box, and he was doing a video, opening one of those up, and, and you know, after I watched the video, I got to thinking, I was like, hey, I wonder if they have any of, any of those left at, on Punko. So I went to the Punko shop, and uh, the one that he was unboxing, they were sold out of. But the other one, they still had some, so I went ahead and, and got one of them. What the hell? I've never bought a mystery box from Funko. Now, I know from watching videos, a lot of times, outside of whatever, like, the, the particular, you know, normally in each of their mystery boxes, there's, like, a particular pop. Normally, it's a Freddy Punko, like a special one. That you can only get in that box. And then the other pops in the box are normally kind of like filler of their stock. Um, so, I mean, I wouldn't expect anything outrageously valuable or anything like that. But, eh, why not? What the hell? So, this is the 25th anniversary Freddy Funko mystery box. I believe that's what it's called. Which I would I would assume implies that Funko has been around for 25 years. Just guess. Yeah, this is the Freddy box. Yeah. All right, so that's just what it says. It just has a label. I would imagine these all probably have the same pops in them, maybe. 
uh, and then they're just you know they're just boxed up and then when somebody orders one they just grab one and throw it in another box and throw the shipping label on it and whoo out the door it goes but there's always possibility that maybe they are they are m mixed up a little bit maybe you know they do have some of the you know outside of the freddy funk you're supposed to get up the other pie pops maybe they do have a little bit of variety so you know a case of franchise kicks you know if he ordered two of them he might get all the same pops or he might get a couple of them that are different i don't know i haven't actually seen those videos yet from him but here we go i have no idea what to expect from this first one we have is 11 Amazon exclusive from Stranger Things. What in the hell is she? Is that like a... Is she wearing a swimsuit? Is that what that is? Or is that like a medical? Kind of looks like a medical type outfit. But it kind of looks like a swimsuit too. So, I don't know. It's been a while since I watched Stranger Things. There we go. Check the the value of all these uh, at the at the end. I don't remember exactly. I think I paid fifty dollars for this. I think it was fifty dollars. Number two, we've got Barry Allen from The Flash. This is a Funko Shop exclusive. It looks like this is from the new Flash movie. Looks like he's wearing some kind of like animal type uh, like hoodie, robe, pajama. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell all the all the characters they have on the back of here, because if you're looking forward to seeing the Flash movie, which I, I believe it's out now, isn't? It? Or is it getting ready to come out? Actually, I think it's coming out like what, like next week or something like that, or maybe this coming weekend. Um, that's one I probably I probably would like to go see. Actually, I might see if, if tickets are available. I might go ahead and get one. Uh, but yeah, because there are a couple of the the Funko Pops on the back of here, kind of give away some other characters that we haven't actually seen in any of the trailers yet. So, so I won't show that. But yeah, there we go. I mean, I'm, I don't want to keep this. I might hold on to it for a little while since it's a Funko Shop exclusive. And the movie's just coming out. I might hold on to it for a while. See what it does. Um, I mean, just looking at the pop, I don't know how... Even after the movie's out, I don't know how in demand this pop will be. But, I could be wrong. You know, that might be a particular scene in the movie that everybody loves. And, you know, that pop might, might end up doing, you know, gangbusters. You know? So, probably makes sense to hold on to it for a little bit. Number three. Here is the Freddy Punko. This is the Anniversary Freddy. 25th Anniversary Funko Shop Exclusive. Here we go. So, obviously I'll hold on to that one for a while too. The Freddy Punkos. Not all of them, but a lot of them, you know, are in big demand. So, obviously, this one right now probably wouldn't be in major demand because, you know, until they sell all the boxes, you know, anybody that went on and got one of those boxes is guaranteed to get this pop. So, I don't know how many of them are out there. Um, and, of course, I'm sure they have some that they produced not even... For those boxes, they probably produced more of those pops than they were going to do like actual boxes. But, so, I'll hold on to it for a while. Next, we have Sherman Fields from Candyman. I believe I have two of these. 
This is the, the Candyman reboot or remake, however you want to you know, look at it. I actually haven't watched it yet. Um, I, I really enjoyed the original Candyman. And the second one, what was the second one called? Was it called like Farewell to Flesh or something like that? I could be wrong on that. But uh, yeah, I haven't seen the remake. I'll eventually get around to watch it. I, I think I have two of these in inventory right now. You'll find information down below about my business, the old Treasure Isle. I sell Macari Poshmark, and you know, eventually, possibly live whatnot auctions again. But I didn't have much luck when I was doing those. I didn't have enough, enough of a following on there. I mean, even when I was advertising it weeks in advance, I don't want to have like ten people in there. And I mean, you can't, you cannot have a successful auction. And actually make it worth your time and, and, and effort you put into putting it up, listing everything, and then you only sell a couple of items and you only make literally maybe a few dollars in profit. Yeah, so maybe someday, but not right now. Next, we have got Groot. This is from, it looks like Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Which I did not see either. Actually, I had a ticket to go see it in the theater, and then that night I just kind of felt like, eh, I don't really don't want to go to the theater. So I figured. I think I already have it pre-ordered through Disney, the Disney Movie Club. So I'll just wait for it. I get get it and just watch it in my theater. I got a 120 inch screen with an Anchor Nebula Cosmos projector. I tell you right now, I'm no way sponsored by Anchor, but if they uh, if they wanted to, hey, here I am. But I cannot say enough about Anchor products, in particular, uh, my my Nebula Cosmo um, projector. I've just got the HD 1081. I didn't get the, I think it's the, they call it the Cosmo, Cosmo Max or, or something like that. They have like a 4K projector too. Um, of course, I've had mine for a few years now, so they might even have a newer model that's higher than that. But yeah, I just went with regular 1080p HD. Um, it's a smart projector. It's got like a hard drive in it. It's got apps that you can put actually on the projector. Um, it's, I think it's got an extra slot. So if you run out of room on the small hard drive in the projector, you can actually put in a memory card and you know, if you need to put more apps on there for other services and stuff you have. Um, the picture is incredible. Um, I just, yesterday, um, ran a second HDMI cable. Because um, it's got two HDMI um, inputs. I had my PS3 hooked up through one. And I went ahead and got another uh, HDMI cable. And ran one for my PS4. So I'm eager either tonight or especially over the weekend um, I'm going to check out and see how how cool it is to pay, play some of my PS4 games on a big screen. And, and no, I haven't gotten a PS5 yet. I'll, you know, I'll wait another year or so. But anyhow, there's a group. I'll be keeping that one. And the last one is The Mayor the black light one. From A Nightmare Before Christmas. So, that's pretty cool. My daughter would probably like that one. The big Nightmare Before Christmas fan. I better keep this box. Alright, let's check some value on these. Again, I, I believe I paid $50 for the box. There's no, there's no question you're getting your money's worth. Bring up the Hobby DB. I either took something off my phone or I added something to my phone because all the all the icons are like moved around. All right, starting with the Blacklight Mayor, which I won't be keeping.
and it's coming back as there aren't any database items all right well, we'll come back to that one let's come back to that one. let's go let's try the next one a lot of these being newer they might not be actually in the hobby db yet all right this one is Groot. Oh, i just noticed he's got like wings or something and the Groot is coming in at this thing will not it's got this stupid little pop-up ad the hell out of the way It won't let me. It won't let me close it. Close. That ain't gonna work. Thought maybe my finger was too big and was hitting it. All right. Well, it looks like it says twenty dollars, but I can't tell because it's got a stupid ass little pop-up ad at the bottom I hate pop-up ads you know keep that crap off my screen yeah I think it, I'm pretty sure it's twenty dollars is what it says I can't tell though because this stupid pop-up ad is in the way it won't let me get it out of the way I don't want to know about the ads. I want it off my screen. I think they, they, they do that specifically. So that you can't get rid of it. All right, well. The Candyman one. I'm guessing it's probably like maybe 15 bucks at the most. Probably not even that. 13. Right, 13. Okay, let's keep our running total. All right, let's bring up the calculator. So we have 20 and 13. All right, we'll look up the Amazon exclusive 11. And Stranger Things. And it says 13. Thirteen to twenty-five. Alright, so it's it's saying, and this don't make sense to me, that the the Amazon exclusive sticker is coming in at thirteen dollars, but the special edition sticker is coming in at twenty-five. Now that could be right, and it could be just because right now more of the special edition stickered ones are actually being sold among collectors, and they're, therefore it kind of inflates the market on those, thinking that those are more in demand. Whereas it might be that just a lot of people that get the ones with the Amazon exclusive sticker aren't selling. So, but we will go with $13. Alright, and we'll go back. And we will check the Barry Allen. That I will be holding on to for a little while. Coming in at I just realized that if you, as soon as it comes up, if you scroll down and look at the price real quick, you can do it before that little pop-up ad comes up. So, we're going to go back. And we're going to check the Groot again, make sure it was 20 and not $30. Right, so we're 
Yeah, there's twenty dollars. Okay. All right, so the only one left is the Freddy Punko. Anniversary Freddy Punko is coming in at twenty four dollars. Right, which one didn't I scan? Oh, the mayor. The mayor is the one that didn't come up with a price. All right, so let's see if we can. See if we can manually look it up. All right, mayor. Well, that one's not it. That's a custom one. That's the chase. Well, there's a black light one, but this one's got the opposite face on. Alright, well, it's not bringing this one up in hell, so we'll just... We'll just say 15 bucks for that one. So, grand total, $106. Paid $50 for the box, plus whatever shipping was. Um, I'm not going to complain about that. Because even keeping... The group, you know, eventually, like I said, the, the Freddy Punko and the Barry Allen, I'll be holding on to for a little while. The Mayor Blacklight, the Sherman, uh, Sherman Fields, and then 11. Well, the Sherman Fields won't be up in my Mercari because I only have one listed already. But the other two will be up eventually. Hopefully, maybe over this weekend. Can't make any promises, though. It's Father's Day, Father's Day weekend. I'm going to go out to dinner with my daughter. Uh, she just asked me that today. I'm probably going to go out to eat on Saturday, so I'm going to go do that. Uh, but, yeah. So, to all you fathers out there, obviously, by the time you're watching this video, uh, it, it, may be, it may be Father's Day. It may be past Father's Day, but happy Father's Day. Um, it's the greatest job in the world, isn't it? It, it literally is. It is. Um, I was not ready to be a dad. I openly admit I wasn't expecting to be. Of course, you know, if you, if you, bottom line, if you play around and you don't take the proper precautions, it's always a possibility. Um, in this case, it was. And uh, I wouldn't change it for the world. Um, and there, there isn't a minute. You know, even, even hard times, and you're going to have hard times as a parent, there are going to be harder times. That comes with being a parent. You expect that. Um, in fact, if, if everything was a piece of cake, when it came to parenthood, I would be a little more worried. Um, but even in those times when you can get a little stressed or you can worry, um, I wouldn't change it for the, for the world. Um, so, happy Father's Day to one and all. Uh, sorry the video is running a little long, but hey, it happens sometimes. If you enjoyed it, Give me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Um, the only thing I know I have coming for sure right now is my $80 Funko Pop over, I think it's supposed to be guaranteed overvalue, a mystery box from Franchise Kick. So um, he just lives the next day over for me. So it probably shouldn't take very long for me to get that. Um, so if you're subscribed, you'll know about that when it comes up. Outside of that, as always, hey, look out for yourself and everyone around you so we all have a much better chance at staying safe and healthy. Till next time, see ya.